Hey, how's everybody doing on this 20th day of March 2013? I bet I've been up longer than you have today. I guess I was up since about 3 o'clock this morning, 2.45. Kuma decided that she wanted to walk all around the apartment today and just take her time and constantly walk around and smack her lips, then walk around some more. Then smack her lips, then walk around some more, then climb on the bed, then walk around some more, then scratch on the door to go outside, then come back inside. And I said, fuck it. It's 3.20 in the morning. I got a client at 7. Why don't I screw sleeping? Well, I'll do a quick workout. Let's see how much we can last today before we totally burn out. And uh good thing is I got a 10 o'clock class I got to teach for moms outside, so... The cold should keep me awake for a little bit longer. And then I should be crashing around 12 o'clock today. And I really don't want to be around other people because I'm afraid I might snap. And I'm trying to stay calm, cool, and collected, but uh, it ain't working out. Well, it's working out because I have Peanut here, and I just like Kuma out for like the 90th time today. And I put her behind the cage, and she started whining and making annoying noises. That only irritated me more. Um, oh, there's Kuma right now. Should I let her in? I figure I'm going to talk a little longer, and then Kuma can come inside, because Kuma can stay outside for a little longer. It was a great night. We got to bed, got in bed, I was starting to get tired, and lo and behold, I got woken up, I guess, at 11.30, and I slept a couple hours, and I was up a couple more hours, and I was sleeping a couple hours, and... I'm sorry, I'm chewing food while I'm talking to you, and that is not respectful. Um, well, so what, oh, and the best thing is, is that I work for this, you know, I do these kids, kids work out in the Central Park, and, uh, come here, you're going to have to wait a little bit, or in the middle of the story, and, uh, I teach two days a week, and I was teaching today. Last night at 8.32 p.m., I got, received an email that uh, one of his seniority people had lost a shift, so let's just fuck John over and take his shift, because you know what? He doesn't need it, and maybe I'll be able to get you another shift to make up for the one you lost, which I find kind of, kind of hard to believe, because shifts, you know, if someone just lost a shift doesn't mean all of a sudden new things are going to open up. But I, I love that he sent me an email at 8.32 p.m. last night, and he did that last time where he... Uh, the last minute told me I was out of a class, but then he added one uh, eventually. Yeah, he did add one. So maybe maybe he will come to, but I thought it was a douchebag move last time. I thought it was a douchebag move this time. So if Jonathan gets any active work, he's going to take it on the one day he is working with the kids, and uh, that'll be the end of that job. Sayonara. That's what I got to say. So, uh, yeah, I love I love getting the email. And I was going to be, I was like, seriously? I was, and then I, wrote, I just wrote thanks because I was so pissed off that I know he kept the other guy. There's a kid who just started who has more shifts than I do, and I already have. I have seniority on him. So I don't know how this whole company works, but uh, I'm glad they like fucking you over. I like getting, I like getting, you know, I like getting fucked up the ass because it feels good. The pain's great, and it just, you know, uh, just bend over and take more. So I was like, oh, that's great. So uh, I was supposed to work today with these kids that I started to bond with, and now it's over again. So, uh, on to bigger and better things, I say. So I keep submitting for stuff, uh, but not getting any auditions. Well, I had one Monday I told you about, but I really wouldn't call that audition. That was me just staring at a camera. And it gets a little deflating, but you just got to keep plugging along, not get any sleep, start, you know, hallucinating a little bit. But uh, Kuma's scratching at the door, and you just you ride the wave. So, uh, you know, I'm sorry I'm being a little pessimistic today, but uh, I'm a little pissed off. I don't like not sleeping, and uh, I'm glad yogurt probably will get about 14 hours sleep today, and uh, I won't. So, folks, keep 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 pursuing. Keep going after things you want. If even, you know, look at me. I didn't get any sleep. I still worked out. So don't be a freaking, don't be a freaking wimp. If I can do it on no sleep, you can do it. So don't make excuses. I'll make any excuse I have, but I'm still going to work out exhausted. <laughs> And I don't know, I think I had a pretty good workout today, and uh, just keep plugging along. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And uh, think twice before you take care of a dog that's blind and deaf, and uh, 
keeps you up all hours of the night. I guess that's my thought of the day. All right, I'll talk to you later. Oh, and we're over 3,000 views, so I appreciate it. So let's keep going. I want to hit 10,000. That's my goal. Love you all. Peace out. Bye.